What is up, Felix Flair here, and recently I've been really in love with the Make Noise Oak Coast, which I think is uh, due to its distinct way of handling overtones, allowing you to create really interesting timbres very easily, and also due to the characteristics of the envelope, which uh, looks very normal, uh, but I think it just feels different, especially for more percussive sounds. Uh, it just really has a beautiful impact. And to share this with you, I actually already recorded a free sample pack that you can download from the description. And now I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's go. All right, here we go. And how I created this uh, sample pack is how I usually approach it, in that I first try to build a beautiful, inspiring effect chain, because this on its own doesn't sound very interesting. But once I apply my effects, yeah. This is already a vibe that makes me want to explore this instrument, yeah, and extract beautiful sounds from it. So, what did I do here exactly? I first started out with this uh, Replica XT delay plugin by Native Instruments um, because it has beautiful controls like the wow and flutter which makes the pitch a bit unstable uh, of the delayed signal and then uh, also especially the ducking feature because if I were to not use any ducking this is what it would sound like yeah, and it's very it's too crowded it's not useful as a sample uh, but without any delay it also sounds boring yeah so I get around that by using the ducking so the dry signal actually ducks the wet signal out of the way and this way I still have this delay kind of vibe, but it's still clean. I can still work with it a bit more flexibly and chop up individual hits and all that kind of stuff. Up next, a bit of chorus for some stereo information, but not too much in order not to damage the mono compatibility. Then a bit of flanger to get some subtle movement here by Arturia, this one. And Sidewinder is a stereo enhancer which creates additional stereo information but it's all mono compatible so if you turn this back into mono it's uh, like nothing happened yeah in case you want to use these samples in mono then the eventide black hole i didn't use it for the actual recording of the samples because i'm sure you want to apply your own reverb because it gives you much more flexibility but here for the demo um, it sounds much more beautiful so i'm going to use it and lastly rc20 uh, for some vintage vibes and some distortion and bit crushing and just some additional textures, yeah? But now let's, for a quick moment, turn off the effects again so I can show you the basics of the Oak Coast. This is the basic, uh, yeah, the layout looks a bit confusing but it's actually super simple and all we need to know for now is that this is the uh, oscillator section, here are two envelopes and here's low pass gate kind of filter and amp at the same time and a mix knob that allows us to mix the clean waveform with the harmonics that we create in this section. And this is also what makes the um, O-Coast so interesting to me, is the way I can control these harmonics, yeah? It sounds a bit like a, a Buchler complex oscillator, but still distinct enough to be its own thing. And same goes here for the low pass gate in combination with the envelope, because it sounds very interestingly percussive and aggressive. Also similar to a low pass gate and envelope combo on a Buchler, but I think it's sort of like a Buchler approach, but with Moog type of circuitry, so different technology under the hood, and it still gives a, a distinct uh, aesthetic that's neither West Coast nor East Coast, but I think it definitely sounds more West Coast than East Coast, in my opinion. Um, but I like that. Yeah, and the low pass gate here, basically, I think they call it something else in the manual, but in my book, it's the low pass gate, yeah? So it's a filter and amp at the same time. So if I turn it down, the sound gets darker because 
the higher harmonics are getting filtered out, but it's also getting quieter. And the envelope here controls that on a very fast get rule. Yeah, all right. So now um, let's turn the effects back on. And the type of sounds that I created for the sample pack are all very techno-y and abstract, but it would also be interesting to see how you do it in different kind of genres than just techno. Um, what I want to share with you basically is yeah, these amazing characteristics of these weird harmonics. And I think some sounds that are suitable for this are drone sounds. Yeah? So, so I created some drone sounds for you in the sample pack that you can play on a keyboard, also polyphonically. And especially uh, because I added a lot of these subtle movements here. It's interesting if you play them without warping uh, in a po polyphonic way, all of these movements aren't going to be synced on each of the notes if you play a chord, but they're going to be all over the place. And I think this is going to make some interesting uh, organic movement and controlled chaos in there, yeah? So uh, I recorded some drones for you. Also I recorded some abstract, aggressive, deep bass sounds. And maybe now it's time to add a bit more interesting pattern than just this one note. Yeah, so a lot of the sounds that I recorded were something like this. Some abstract, techno-y kind of bass lines where I just work with the effects and modulate these beautiful harmonics here manually or with the self-cycling second uh, envelope here. And play with the envelope. And for a lot of the sounds I did various recordings that were a bit longer and then I just picked the best parts and of some sounds you're going to hear different uh, versions with different harmonics so that you can create some different moments in the arrangement and have a bit more flexibility. Yeah, and of course everything without reverb so that you can apply it yourself. Um, is create a bunch of abstract, weird kind of effect sounds that you might want to use for additional uh, little details and transitions in your arrangement by just manually manipulating the pitch here and uh, working with the volume knob. Yeah, to create these abstract little figures that bounce into the delay. And every one is going to be different. Yeah, and then I just recorded a bunch of these and picked my favorite ones. And then the last thing that I did to further harness this beautiful percussive uh, characteristic here of the dynamics and contour combination is that I created more of these shorter percussive higher frequency loops. Yeah somewhere between a techno melody and percussion loop. And here also you can get a thousand different beautiful sounds just by exploring various combinations of these three knobs, basically. Yeah, and then for all of them I did uh, individual tweaks here and there on the effects, yeah but the effect chain is largely the same.
much. I guess that's it from my side for today. As usual, if you have any questions, let me know. And apart from that, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Peace out. Mm -hmm.